this is a visual c plus plus tutorial i'm going to start by creating my folder's name so it's going to be called alphabet because uh, it will be based on um, it's all about developing what i call alphabet app so let me select my windows forms application there okay now we wait for generate a form the form is right here now so i'm gonna need the following component i think i will need a I would need picture box you guys will you will enjoy this very tutorial because it's uh, going to be very interactive for children to play around with now I have one picture box there then uh, let me just set the border star the border star and change that to fix single right here you see a fix single end up showing the the borders of the object that I've just used which is uh, just a picture box the next thing I will do now is go to the solution explorer and uh, just right click on my alphabet alphabet uh, name there then click on reference and add the reason why I'm using this is because I intend to incorporate some sound or some element of sound into it or a device an object that can change text to speech so that's it right there system dot speech so if you missed it the other time let me just show it to you again right click on whatever the name of your project is select reference once you select reference this uh, dialog box pops up click on add new reference it's not that different from uh, any of the other visual studio program so you can either you can repeat the same thing in a 2010 or 2012 or 13 as well okay select your system dot speech click on ok there and just click on ok which means you now have the object for sound in place double click on your form then once your form is uh, selected so all you then need to do is uh, right underneath here using namespace and enter as once you're ready with that you enter the following there using namespace system column column speech column column and you enter your synthesizer right there i will now go back to my form here so now all i just need to do hold down on my control and enter the amount of component I intend to add onto my screen so I will speed this up and get back to you and right there this is how my interface looks right now you can see all of the picture box that I've uh, added onto the form and here I've also added the following those are radio buttons three radio buttons one for alphabet images and letters so where are we going to show the letters maybe somewhere here i may have to delete the following that's because i only needed 26 of these alone there are 26 alphabet in uh, abc so i may have to delete these ones but before then we need the images now the images i intend to use i will have to add them inside these very project file so let me show you my project file and right here is my project file right there i'll double click on it then go into this very file you see the inner file inside the project file is a double click on it and whatever image you intend to use paste it right there those are the images i intend to use and here is uh, my alphabet uh, intent that i will be using as the b so I will then use some and that's the C as well. So let's go back into C++ now. Now we're back into C++. Next stage is uh, double click on the very first picture box right there, which is this very one. Press enter and you enter the following lines of code. So I'm going to use if statement if my radio button one radio button one dot check no sorry i said visual basic okay checked which is right here 
all right close that and what i want the system to do is make sure you enter your query uh, bracket then and then just say uh, picture picture box one okay and uh, i want my image right now image there equals equals image column column i'm now referring it to the very area where those images were saved okay find find from file okay so the name of the image is a that's the name make sure you enter it in a quote a dot jpeg that's the name of my of the image that i've that i'm using there so the next one is i would now ask the system to read the text so i'll say speech speech synchronize speech synchronizer exponential equals the new speech synchronizer right there Let me just copy that so i don't make any mistake paste it right there and uh, enter parentheses close that so what do you want it to read out read out the following for me that will be the speech itself or speak whatever i enter in here so i'm just gonna call that alphabet alphabet and letter a that's what i want you to read out for me okay so i need to close the entire speech mark there as well so that's that now make sure you close your coil bracket so i will just speed this up by copying this copy that take it down a little bit there and just paste it there so i will change this to radio button 2 so if that is selected i like this to show the image of an apple okay and i can just say apple right there or whatever or i can say a is for apple a is for apple so and repeat exactly the same thing that paste it right there so if radio button 3 is selected so we just want this to write or show us the spelling of an apple okay let's enter maybe apple or the a for apple is the same thing but uh, i'm gonna make up something so that it looks much better so let me just give it a try and see how it goes okay I've, let me build the system now a successful run that very program so if i select alphabet alphabet letter a you hear that alphabet letter a and let's say i select the image apple and the letter that is for apple a is for apple so I'll just repeat the same thing for the rest um, buttons and I add for the rest uh, picture box and I'll get back to you guys. Okay guys, these are the first three picture box are looking. You can see this is for C. C is for carrot. Look at it right there. And B is for bread. And we have the images of bread right there okay and the alphabet letter b we have the same thing here for a alphabet letter a a is for apple i can just maybe change this and do that copy and just 
just bring it my dear B is red okay that's fine and um, yeah it's looking good for now so let's just uh, build build the system and run it and then just end this first part of this uh, tutorial because it's gonna take a little bit of time to complete every single component right there so run the program and maybe select the alphabet alphabet letter A alphabet letter B alphabet letter C you can hear that A B C alphabet letter A alphabet letter B and so on you can hear it again alphabet letter A alphabet letter B alphabet letter C I select an image apple bread carrot so if we select letter C is for carrot B is for bread B is for apple okay so with that, I'm just going to end this uh, tutorial for now and uh, continue with the rest part of this uh, beautiful game with uh, tutorial number two. So I'm going to call it bye for now.